everyone. Welcome to today's video class. Um, I wanted to focus a little bit on energy today and bring about a practice that infuses you with a little bit of energy and rejuvenation. And that's our physical intention. But mentally, I also want us to think about what, as you do this class is how you're feeling from the inside out, you know, use your breath to kind of do a little bit of self inquiry and, you know, during some of the asana portion, I invite you to just, you know, re reflect a little bit and do some introspection on how your body's feeling. And hopefully the goal is by the end of class, you feel a little energized. And yeah, that's what I wanted to bring to you today. Thank you so much for being here. And without much further ado, we'll get started. I always like to start class with pranayama. So we'll do a brief pranayama exercise. So finding a comfortable seat on your mat, you can sit in any kind of seated posture that's comfortable for you. And then relax your shoulders, rest your hands on your thighs, sit nice and tall. Go ahead, close your eyes. And take the first, you know, six or seven breaths to just kind of let go of your day that happened before you got here on the mat and just use this time to begin to even out your inhale and exhale, kind of don't worry about what's coming after, or what happened before, just Take a few breaths to just settle. do a short pranayama exercise where our exhale is going to be longer than our inhale. So what I encourage you to do is to begin practicing our ujjayi breathing and you're going to pull your inhale in from beneath your navel. You're going to pull it all the way up into your throat and then you're going to exhale it out. What we're going to do is you're going to do a four second inhale and a six second exhale. You can count it out yourself. So for example, if you were to do the four second inhale, do one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, right? So that's four seconds, inhale, six seconds, same thing, exhale out, count it out for yourself. And just know that other thoughts are gonna come into your mind, your to-do list or what's coming after, you know, you do this video, etc. All those things, just your mind has a lot of chatter. My advice and what I encourage you to do is to not react to those thoughts. Um, it's very difficult to empty your mind fully of thoughts, right? So if they're there, just don't react to them as you do this exercise. Try your level best to focus on the breath, focus on the count, focus on the number, and just, you know, try all the best to concentrate on your breath. So we'll begin our exercise. So you're gonna do this on your own. Again, sitting nice and tall. Close your eyes and begin on your own. Four second inhale. And six second exhale. Just keep going at your own pace. We're gonna do this for 10 rounds.
now for the next few breaths, even out your inhale and exhale. So continue to pull in your navel, pull that inhale in from beneath the navel as you breathe up. Exhale. Now just even out your breath. And know that this controlled kind of intentional inhale and exhale is your breath for the remainder of class. Any time that you find yourself wandering, like your mind wanders, just bring it back using this breath. With your eyes still closed, bring your palms together, rub them, build a little bit of heat, and then cover your eyes with your palms, Enjoy the warmth. And then slowly release, open, and coming onto your hands and knees to begin a slow warm up. So, coming onto your hands and knees, all 10 fingers spread nice and wide, knees underneath your hips. On an inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, curl like a cat. Keep going, inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, curl. Couple more, inhale, move with the breath. Again, no rush to get from one side to the next. Exhale, curl. One more. Exhale, curl. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine and just look back at your feet gently side to side. Now opening up the side body a little bit. And then coming back again to a neutral spine, getting ready for Adho downward facing dog. So walk your palms out an inch or so in front of your shoulders. Again, make sure all 10 fingers are spread nice and wide. Curl your toes on an inhale, slowly lift your hips up and back. So the key in downward facing dog, Adho is to really lengthen your spine. So if your hamstrings are tight and you know, you can't get a straight knee, that's totally fine. Bend your knees a little bit, but push your hips up and back so you feel lengthening in your whole spine. And then maybe eventually your feet, um, your knees can straighten once your hamstrings are open. And everyone to start off, we're gonna warm up. So bend one knee a lot more than the other. Just gently cycle it out. And then coming to a still downward facing dog, whatever variation you're doing, either bent knees or straight, push your heels down towards the mat. One day they will touch, I promise. Pull your navel in. Breathe. Deep inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, gently walk your feet forward, coming into gentle Uttanasana forward fold. So bend your knees, relax your head and neck. Nod your head, yes. Shake, shake, no. Maybe just swing gently side to side. And then on an inhale, really gently 
slowly, slowly lift your spine all the way up. Lift your arms all the way up. And then exhale, arms come down by your side. We'll do three Surya Namaskar A's. So when you're ready, come into the top of your mat. Here we go, moving with the breath. Inhale, arms lift all the way up. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, looking up. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana, knees, chest, chin can come down as a variation, that's totally good. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, curl your toes, come back, Adomakasanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Inhale, arms lift all the way up. Exhale, arms come down by your side. Two more rounds. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, looking up. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana, knees, chest, chin, or without. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing dog, or you can do Bhujangasana. Exhale, come back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Sanasana. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Inhale, arms lift all the way up. Exhale, arms come down by your side. One more, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, looking up. Exhale, step back, knees, chest, chin, or without Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing dog, or Bhujangasana. Exhale, come back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Sanasana. Five breaths here. One. Two. Three. Again, you can take the bent knees variation or straight, depending on how your hamstrings are. Four. Five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Inhale, arms lift all the way up. Exhale, palms come down by your side. Getting ready for Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. So right foot steps forward, left foot steps back. Left foot is about 45 degrees at the back of your mat. Swivel your hips so they face front. Take a deep inhale, exhale, lunge deeply into that right knee. Yeah, so if you find that your hips are not able to face fully forward, there's tightness in your hips, you can widen the stance, right? You can make your right foot go more right, left foot go more left in warrior one. So you create space for your hips to be able to face forward. So that's totally okay. Arms lift up, relax your shoulders, palms touch at the very top. Breathe. Opening out into Virabhadrasana 2. Slowly bring your arms out into a T. Maybe widen your stance just a little bit. Increase the distance between your feet. Right arm faces forward. Gaze over your right middle fingers. Tuck your lower belly in as you breathe. Exhale, inhale, straighten, getting ready for Trikonasana, triangle. Take a deep inhale, exhale, reach right arm over, left ar right arm comes down, left arm stays up. So if your right arm can't reach the ground, that's okay. It can come anywhere on your right leg. What's more important is that your chest is nice and open and that you're not collapsing that left arm, like that left shoulder, right? So keep things nice and open, adjust where you need to. 
Strong leg, press your feet into the mat. Gaze to the ceiling. If you can, your left thumb, breathe. Getting ready for standing splits. So bringing that left arm down. Now frame your right foot with both your hands. Walk that left foot in, 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 in. Okay, on an inhale, lift that left leg all the way up as high as you can. Even if it's just a few inches off the ground, that's totally fine. Just do the best you can. Just hold the balance, breathe. And if you have a block in front of you or nearby, you can use a block. You can place your hands on a block to help you balance. You can adjust the height of the block that works for you. And breathe. And slowly on an exhale, bring both your feet together, coming into a forward fold. Inhale with control. Come all the way up. Lift your arms all the way up. Exhale. Arms come down by your side. Getting ready for the left side. So I'm going to switch sides as in I'm going to just switch the way I face so you can see the front of my body. But just whichever direction we're facing forward is fine. So left foot forward. Getting ready for Virabhadrasana 1. Right foot steps back. Right, right foot is now 45 degrees. Again, adjust your hips, the width of your feet, the distance between them, so that your hips are able to face forward towards the top of your mat. Take a deep inhale. Lunge deeply into that left knee. Tuck your lower be belly in. Arms lift, palms touch at the top. Virabhadrasana one. out into warrior two so widen your stance just a little bit arms come out into a T now your right foot is parallel with the shortage of the mat and tuck that lower belly in it's a reminder for myself too Inhale, slowly straighten, getting ready for Trikonasana, triangle. Same thing, take a deep inhale, exhale, reach forward with that left arm, left arm comes down, right arm stays up. Again, nice open chest, no pressure to touch the ground with that left arm. It'll eventually get there with time. Again, you can hang out anywhere on your left leg. Maintain that openness in your shoulder, openness in your core. split so now bring that top arm down frame your left foot with both your hands right walk that right foot in 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 and when you're ready slowly lift that right leg as much as you can and your head and neck well you ideally <laughs> you're like almost folding in half with your torso so relax your head and neck 
if you're able to bring your nose towards your left knee, <laughs> that's a challenge, but just do your level best. Again, use a block if you need to help you balance. Just do the best you can. One more deep inhale and exhale. Slowly bring both your feet together, come into that gentle forward fold. Breathe here for a second. And inhale, slowly come up. Lift your arms all the way up. Exhale, palms come down. Coming back to the top of the mat for our balance today is Udita Hasta Padangustasana. So extended leg, um, big toe hold, extended leg forward. We're gonna do a modified version of that to practice and then build the strength and flexibility and eventually we will be able to do the full version. So you're gonna shift weight onto your left leg, right? Bend that right knee, lift it up. You're gonna hold on to that right big toe, okay? And this is the version that we're going to do today. Hold on to your right big toe and just balance. If you're not able to reach your right big toe and you're bent over, just hold on to your right knee. Wherever you are, try to maintain a nice tall spine and breathe and balance. deep inhale and then exhale come down shake it out getting ready for the other side so shifting weight to your right leg lift your left knee bend and lift it so again you can hold on to the left knee like this that's totally fine while maintaining a tall torso if you're able to Reach that left big toe, hold on to it. Keep that standing leg nice and strong. Find a steady gaze and breathe. Most important, breathe slowly and deeply. Exhale, release, shake it out. If the arches of your feet um, are cramping or hurting, it just means you haven't worked those muscles in a while and they just need a little bit of love and attention. So it happens if you haven't balanced in a while. So just know that it's totally normal. Coming to a seat, Dandasana, staff pose. So extend your legs, right? Flex your feet so your toes are very active and almost pointing towards you. Place your hands, palms down next to your hips, palms facing forward. Press down gently, lift your chest. Open your chest, relax your shoulders. Breathe. Your legs are very active. Your breath is energized. Getting ready for Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. So inhale, arms lift, 
And I want you to really think about lengthening your spine over your legs instead of rounding your back. Really think lengthening over. So you kind of like pull your belly in in order to lengthen and land where you, you know, you're landing today. If you're grabbing onto ankles or shins, if you have a little strap, you can strap around the soles of your feet. For those of us using straps, just don't make it a bicep exercise because I want you to mainly feel it in your hamstrings and your low back. So grab what body part you're able to and then exhale. Lengthen, breathe, relax your head and neck. Two more breaths here. Inhale, slowly come up, and everyone say hi to my cat, Mochi. She is our uh, YouTube channel mascot. I have another one as well. They're both my mascots. <laughs> so getting ready for Parvita Janasar Sasana to open out the low back. So extend your right leg, bend your right foot, sorry, right knee, have your left, I said that all wrong. Extend your right leg, bend your left knee, so left foot is at right inner thigh. So you're gonna take your right hand, take your index and middle finger, hold on to that right big toe, okay? Take a deep inhale, I want you to gently Pull yourself, bend that right elbow, pull yourself towards the right leg. Take your left arm around your low back and then also twist open towards the ceiling. So there's two things happening at the same time. I want you to gently pull and twist open at the same time. Put equal amount of energy and effort into both. Breathe. This, you should feel this really nice opening all along your left side body, your left like lower back. It's a very, very wonderful posture. Inhale, slowly release, come up. I feel like I could stay there a while. Right, Moji? So extending your left leg, so bring right foot to left inner thigh. Okay, again, taking your middle and index finger of your left arm, reach and grab that left toe, All right? If you're not able to reach the left toe, use like a strap or a towel around your left foot and you can do the same thing. So again, gently bend and pull yourself. Now take your right arm, bring it around your low back. So two things at the same time. So you're gonna gently pull and also twist open towards the ceiling with your chest. And breathe. slowly come up and coming into Upavishta Konasana a form of we're gonna do Upavishta Konasana which is like a seated wide-legged um, forward fold but we're actually gonna really work to strengthen our hips as well as our core and um, this next series that we're gonna do is be it's, it's definitely a little bit challenging but just do the best you can and every little effort that you put in makes a difference yeah so for one, make your feet out in a nice V. So you can make your V shorter if you begin to curl into your low back. So you can gauge the distance that you want, um, you know, how wide you want your V to be with your legs. You can also bend the knees if your hamstrings are super, super tight. 
you know, to help because you don't want to compromise the low back. So whatever adjustment you need to make, maybe a smaller V with knees bent, and then eventually you can push your heels out. So pick the version that works for you today, right? And I want you to really flex your feet, right? You're gonna put your hands down in the middle. Sit nice and tall for a couple of breaths. Relax your shoulders always. And now we're gonna do a little drill where we lift. You're gonna try, you're gonna point your toes and you're gonna lift your leg just a little bit, right? Maybe just the calves, just the heels. Just point and lift and bring it down. It's like a, such a small movement and you feel your entire leg working. So it's just this, this uh, conditioning um, practice part of yoga can really help you strengthen your inner thighs and your hips for you know, just day to day and also just it's good for um, other asanas if you're working on them and things like that. So, so point your right toe to start. And it's like a really minor lift. Lift your leg up, oh, bring it down, other side. Point your toe, lift your heel, lift your calf. If you can, lift your thigh, bring it down. It's so small. I'm making so much of an effort to just lift my leg and it's not a big movement at all. Just do your level best that you can. We'll do two more on each side, okay? So point your right toe, lift your right heel and thigh if you can. Other side, point left toe, lift. Bring it down. Just one more each side. Point your right toe, lift. Bring it down, other side. Sit nice and tall. Lift, okay, completely relax. Baddha Konasana, bound angle, bringing the soles of your feet together. Oh, like you really feel it in your inner thigh and hips. It's, it's a great conditioning um, drill. Baddha Konasana now to release. Bound angle, bringing the soles of your feet together. Let your page, uh, feet open like pages in a book. Take a deep inhale, exhale, round your back. Bring your forehead on down to your toes. Breathe. Now inhale. Slowly, slowly come up. Again, extend your legs out in front. Give them a good shake. Coming onto your back. And also thinking about, you know, what we talked about in the beginning of class where kind of taking the time to self-reflect and self-inquire as you practice how you're feeling, what is your energy level like. Getting ready for bridge pose, we're going to do Three back bends today, yeah? So getting ready for Seta Bandha Sarvangasana. So heels, uh, feet down, heels down. Walk your heels back a little bit towards your glutes. Knees and feet are about hip width distance. Arms rest alongside body. So press your feet, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, lift your hips up. And breathe. Keep a nice open chest. So options with your hands, you can kind of curl your shoulders under, roll them under, clasp your fingers if you're able to. You can grab your onto your heels or arms can rest on either side. Keep breathing. Again, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips up a little higher. Now exhale with control. Slowly, 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 slowly bring your hips back down. Widen your feet a little bit, like mats with distance, and just windshield wipe your knees side to side. So as we're doing this, I'm gonna talk us through Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward wheel. 
So that's gonna be our next back bend. And if it's not, if you haven't done upward wheel before, you can do what we just did, bridge, which is a great foundational posture. It's, I mean, it's, it's good for all levels of yoga practitioners. Bridge, what we just did is lifting your hips. That builds the muscle memory and prepares you to be able to do Urdha Dhanurasana. Another option that if you're, something that you wanna to try today with full wheel, if you wanna do a little bit of like a drill, like conditioning kind of practice, and you can do this more and more on your own, there's multiple ways. One thing that you can try is to prepare for full wheel and get your body ready for full wheel is to, you have to you know work on opening your shoulders and you can do like a mini lift. So what that looks like is you bring your palms down next to your ears, right? Your fingers are facing towards your feet, okay? Elbows pointing up. So again, press your feet, press your palms, and then just see if you can do a little lift, like lift your hips up, maybe just come onto the crown of your head, like a little lift, and then slowly just quickly come back down. You don't wanna put a lot of weight on the crown of your head and neck. So you don't wanna hold it, you know, if all your weight, if your head is on the crown of your head is on the ground, touching the ground. So it's just like you do a little quick lift and then just slowly come back down, right? So I just want you to practice what that lift is like. So again, I'll show you. So palms down next to your ears, press your palms down, make sure they're fully flat. Okay, and if they're not fully flat, that's your drill. That's what you're gonna work on today. You're just gonna work on flattening your palms down because you need your palms fully flat to get the right uh, foundation in order to be able to lift, right? So either you're just working on flattening your palms down, just opening them up, maybe that's your drill. If your palms are fully flat, then maybe you press your feet, press your palms, do a little lift, and then slowly just come back down. So maybe that's your drill today, right? So whatever you choose to do, or you come into that full Urdu Dhanurasana, or you're in bridge, right? So whatever back bend you choose to do, you're gonna stay there for five breaths. And if you're doing a drill, maybe you just do like three lifts, right? I want you to practice whatever you're practicing for five breaths. I just don't want you to hold, you know, the little half uh, Urdu Dhanurasana with your head completely on the ground with all the weight on the crown of hair. That's the only thing that I don't want you to do. Yeah, so when you're ready, pick the version that you're going to do. I'm gonna do a full Urdhva Dhanurasana. When you're ready, on an inhale, come into your posture or work on your drill and breathe. Most important, stay with the breath. with control wherever you are, slowly, slowly come on down. And then again, windshield wipe your knees side to side. Padan Muktasana. So hug your knees into your chest. Take a deep inhale, and then exhale. Curl your head, neck and shoulders up. And then inhale, lie back down. Exhale, lift and curl. Try to come into like this little ball as you breathe all the air out from your lungs. Inhale, lie back. Exhale, curl, head, neck and shoulders up. A Couple more times, inhale, lie back. Exhale, curl head and neck and shoulder up. Inhale, lie back. Extend your legs out flat, getting ready for Matsyasana, fish pose. So come onto your elbows, lift your chest up onto your elbows. Lift your chest on an inhale, land the crown of your head back. Open your throat, open your shoulders. And then 
completely relax your back onto the mat. Bring your arms out into a T, bend your knees, and then drop your knees to the right side. And again, coming into this lovely reclining twist and beginning to, you know, do that, some of that self-enquiry and self-reflection on just how are you feeling? How did this practice make you feel from the inside out? to the left, continuing that deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, slowly bringing your knees back into your chest. Gently rock side to side massage. And then before we come into Shavasana, do Supta Baddha Konasana. So bringing the soles of your feet together, let your knees flop open, let your hips kind of just open out. And slowly extend your legs coming into the most important part of our entire practice Shavasana because the rest is what ultimately rejuvenates you it's your time to not control the breath anymore just let everything go let you know, just gravity take over and just be really heavy on the mat and rest for the next few minutes.
Begin to gently wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Gently rock your head side to side. Turn your body to one side and slowly lift yourself up into a comfortable seat. With your eyes still closed, bringing your hands to your heart. On an inhale, thumbs lift to forehead for good thoughts. On an inhale, thumbs lift, come to lips for kind words. On an inhale, thumbs come to heart for good intentions. From my light to yours, thank you guys so, so much for practicing with me. As always, it's my privilege to be your teacher. We bow together. Namaste.